Zoom blasts from the past. Hi, this is Audio Wanderer, and this is the Nintendo DS. Probably the best selling handheld ever made. You know, the one that everyone had, from your friend always playing Mario Kart to your sister brushing the hair off her virtual horse, your old man solving Sudokus all the time, and to your grandma playing Mei Young. This little machine brought Nintendo back to the top of the game after a few problematic projects, expanding the horizon of casual gaming to unexplored areas. People start to use it for all kinds of things, from exercising their minds, feeding virtual pets, or even making music on the go. The global success of this handheld created a fertile base for independent creators dedicated to making all kinds of programs outside of Nintendo's control. This was the Homebrew SIM, and from that SIM, before it was crushed by the unforgiving fist of Nintendo's legal team, a program was born that promised a creative music environment similar in style to the Monom ecosystem. That program was Thel's DS. And the cool thing about Thel's DS was that with a little bit of coding in Lua, you could make new engines to work with, transforming this entertainment product for the masses, the Nintendo DS, into an experimental avant-garde noise maker. All glory to the Hypnotoad! Here's a little jam I made using some of the new scripts I wrote for the Thursdays. this one, I created a generative sequencer with random options, so it never sounds the same way twice. That's something I really love, letting the script go off on their own and surprise me with new patterns and sounds. The Thel's DS had a lot of limitation due to the limitation of the Nintendo DS itself. For one, it only plays 8-bit mono 22kHz audio in RAW format which definitely keeps that crunchy lofi sound that some people may find interesting. And there is no MIDI over cable support, just some Wi-Fi MIDI that I haven't really tested, plus Thel's DS just trigger sounds. There is no other option to do with the sound that just play back the sound. No attack decay sustain or release. No filters to shape your sound. But honestly, even with the limitations, it's been super fun playing with my old DS in such a different way. With all these new scripts I wrote for it, you can create some really unique music by mixing them together. 
Now, if you're curious about Thel's DS, let's put it all together so you can make it work on your own DS. First, you will need a special cartridge like this one, with a micro SD slot. Simply drop the Thel's DS.NDS file into the root directory, along with a folder named Thel's DS that contains the necessary files to work with Thel's DS. That's it. Once everything is set up, you're ready to make some noise. You can find the necessary CellsDS files on the GitHub page of the CellsDS creator, along with all the code and files needed to create your own compilations, if you have the skills to do so. Let me show you some of the scripts I have been working on. This one takes the existing delay script and loops it adding random notes every time it passes, so the sounds keeps changing. Here's another one where I took the default 16 steps of the Thels DS and bumped it up to 256 steps. You can still fill it very easily with the stylus of the Nintendo DS. And I have added a bunch of randomization options plus a way to pitch the sound up and down to make it more fun. And check this out, this script breakout ball that bounces all over the grid, triggering sounds whenever it hits one of the edges. It's a fun way to create something unpredictable. Those are just a few examples, there are plenty more and some of them are pretty, pretty weird. So if you are into this and want to get your hands on these scripts and other cool stuff, check out my Patreon. By supporting me there, you get full access to these scripts, plus music releases and other kinds of creative projects. So see you there. Now a little jam with all these new scripts mixing them together.
A few moments later. Zoom blast from the past. 